The city of L.A. is revamping its sexual harassment policy. And CBS 2's Randy Page is live in downtown L.A. with a look at the steps they're about to take. Randy. Pat, Rick, just to put this story in context, to give you an idea how many people are affected, the city of Los Angeles is the third largest employer in the county of Los Angeles. 55,000 people work for the city, and yet... Los Angeles does not have a uniform way, a centralized way that it investigates and keeps track of sexual uh, cases like this, and that could change. We should be ashamed of ourselves. LA City Council Member Nuri Martinez is asking the city to look in the mirror and examine its policy on sexual harassment. Our system is flawed. There is no centralized uh, process in the city of Los Angeles for someone to come forward and feel that they're claim was investigated and that there was closure to that investigation and that is a pathetic state that we are in. Councilmember Martinez spoke of an unnamed city employee who reported harassment and spent five years waiting for a resolution. The only thing the city was able to tell her was that they couldn't reach the individual, they couldn't interview him and so therefore they were going to close her case. Martinez said the woman had to go to court and get a restraining order to keep the harasser away from her and her family. We failed that person. We failed her. Today, Council Members Martinez and Paul Krikorian introduced a motion which calls on the City Personnel Department to report on the feasibility of creating a sexual harassment and assault complaint hotline and website, review the city's sexual harassment policies, and find out the number of sexual harassment complaints in the past five years broken down by departments. When one victim stands up, invariably, many other victims are then empowered to speak up as well. And say, the motion passed. 13 ayes. Okay, that's approved. Uh, Unanimously. Clerk, uh... Councilmember Kerkorian says in the past five years there have been seven sexual harassment cases settled by the city. Total cost $2.5 million. But he also says it is likely there are so many more cases that are not being reported. The whole idea here is to try to set up a system so the victims feel comfortable coming forward and telling their stories.